21 pubs across England built between the two world wars are being awarded Grade 2 listed status. Historic England says the pubs that are being chosen represent a fascinating time in British history. One of them is the Royal Oak in East London. It's been the backdrop for lots of filming, including Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and the television series Goodnight Sweetheart. Our correspondent Emilia Papadopoulos reports. Pubs. They've always been at the heart of British life. For many, they're the meeting point for post-work drinks or Sunday lunch. But it's not always been that way. And a hundred years ago, the traditional public house was a very different place. The end of the First World War marked a period of great change for the British pub. Long gone were the Victorian gin palaces filled with hard-drinking men and in their place, pubs for the whole community, where women were welcome and food was served. And so to preserve this unique change in the country's history, the government's listed 21 interwar pubs. In other words, it's protecting them from any kind of redevelopment. We've decided to list 21 interwar pubs um, and that recognises their special character uh, and the fact that they were probably underappreciated. But you only have to look around you here to realise how important that character is. The Royal Oak in East London was one of the first family pubs in the country. With its vitrolite ceilings, wooden panelling and light fixtures, coming in here is almost like travelling back in time. Its new Grade 2 listed status means it's likely to stay this way. In fact, this pub has kept so much of its original identity that it's a popular film set, famous for starring in the BBC series Goodnight Sweetheart. While its listed status may please the historians, for pub owners, it's not all good news. We were of um, mixed emotions, I mean, it's great for the building and great for heritage, um, but financially, um, to, to the fact that w if we need anything fixed and um, th there's going to be an extra financial strain, uh, that everything has to be done absolutely properly. Although we'd love to be able to do that, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot more cost on us. High taxes on beer and competition from supermarkets mean that up to 29 pubs around the country are forced to close every week. So while the 21st century might be a challenging time for the pub, today a promise was made to make safe a small slice of British history. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC News.